Hello everyone, welcome back to Minecraft 1.18 Caves and Cliffs. In the last episode we got ourselves Bad Omen level 5 effect. So we are doing the max difficulty village raid right now. We are of course on hard difficulty as well. So this is just about as hard as it gets for a village raid. We have got plenty of armour though to keep ourselves occupied. Let's just clear out some of our inventory here. Do not need all these totems on us. And let's just get straight into it. Oh, some of them have already died somehow. Right. Don't particularly want to face these guys head on, so let's take him out before he gets to me. I have punched one on the bow, which is helping here. I don't want the evoker to summon vexes. Yes! Alright, good. And we need to go and get that totem before I forget about it. Emerald. Totem. Ah! Right, okay, we've got a good distance between us. We can swap out for some other food. From what I can tell, it seems like the Bad Omen 5 effect increases the amount of enchantments the enemies have. Because they definitely seem to have much more enchanted weapons. So I'm seeing lots of multi-shot, lots of piercing, like that one there. It's definitely noticeable. Right, there's another Roker. There's two more over there. I like to deal with these guys first before they can summon Vexes on me. Ow! How did you get right up to me? Ah, too late. Okay. Take him out before he summons more. Take them out. Moving too much. And now he's underground. Okay. Totem. Where's the other one? There. It's hard to take them out because they run around so fast. Oh, and they, he's just been given regeneration. <laughs> right, which is gone. One hit in, two hits in, he's down. Right, got to get that without getting hit. Boom. And then climb up on this tree here for safety. Take out the witch before she heals them. Alright. And these guys are pretty easy on top of this tree. Just hit them with a bow. A bow that I need to repair. Right, just one left. Where is this last one? Way up there, I see it. Hello. Right, where's the next wave coming from? Oh, that's it, that's the victory. All right, okay, that was... Quicker than I expected. Let's see what kind of discounts we're getting. So in here we have our mending villager. What am I getting mending books for? Five emeralds for a mending book. That is a great deal. And how many emeralds, how many sticks for an emerald? Only 15 sticks for an emerald? That is also a great deal. We should come back here with a whole bunch of wood. Oh, don't let them out. No, 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 you can't leave. You can't leave. Alright, I'm going to go collect a whole bunch of wood. Hold on, let's get all of this 
sorted out first. Right, so we can put totems in here. Emeralds can just go straight in here. Oh no, they need to go in the looting one. The, the resources one, that's fine. I'll put it in there for now. All these iron axes I don't care for. Put that away now. No longer need my potions. All right, now we're heading back to get some wood. Okay, so I have two full shulker boxes of sticks. That should get me plenty of emeralds. I'm also just going to go down into the basement and grab as much string as I can carry, or as much as we have. Because I don't even think we have that much, because I don't spend a lot of time in that farm anymore. Oh, I've left it open. So we've got the secret entrance here, which I just want to show up again. Block swapper. And let's just get all the string we can carry. None in there, none in there. Nice, that's all the string we have. Let's head over to the village and do a whole bunch of trading. Oh, God, hello. Oh, another totem. Cool. Right. It is raining. It is night. Let's sleep. I hope the vex don't wake us up. Just let me sleep. I said let me sleep. Oh, God, they're strong. Now let me sleep. Okay, so we have a bunch of string, two chests of, two shulker boxes of sticks. Let's see how many emeralds I can get myself. Hello. Right, so seven string for an emerald. That is a great price. We'll start off there. Sticks. Let's get a shulker box out. We get four emeralds per stack. Oh, and he's already locked up there. Well, screw you. Let's take oh, more string in here. Let's take it, everything over to the other villager. And we're just going to keep going back and forth until we get what we need. Hey, you. You're not going anywhere. I'm not letting you escape. Right, I guess we're going to need to find a new way out. Right, and with this guy, we're going to do the same thing. So, shulker box full of sticks. Start off with the string. Right, he's already full up there, so let's get all the sticks we can. Right, and then I'm just going to keep going back and forth between each villager, seeing how many emeralds I can get. I have just run out of my hero of the village effect and they've gone back up to full price there and I've still got a whole bunch of sticks left but I did get three and a half stacks of emeralds spent ten of those on two mending books because why not I wish we could have got more emeralds but 
I think that's done pretty well. Oh, Wandering Trader, hello. Anything good? No. Nothing good. Okay, so that's all the sticks in the chest there. Might as well just spend a few of them while he's got his trades on, back unlocked. Obviously we'll get half the amount I would have got before. Okay. Let's grab my shulker boxes, chuck the sticks away. There we go, we got nearly... Well, we would have got four stacks and then spent ten on books. So that's pretty good. So if we whip out our loot chest... Our resources, sorry. Have we got a crafting table in here? We do. That's another 27 blocks. Oh. Wow. What I'm thinking next is let's head home to start with. And then I think I want to build an iron farm. An iron golem farm. I think would be a pretty cool thing to do. So I need to think about a design for that. Probably choose one off the internet. Hold on, we have a books thing. There we go. So I want to make an iron golem farm and I want to build it here. So I haven't, I'm not really familiar. This is a weird hole here. I'm not really familiar with Iron Golem farms, but I'm pretty sure you build a giant box way in the sky, much like that I've done there. And then you get the iron. So I guess I'm going to do a similar thing. I'm going to go look at a design and choose one that I think I can do. Right, so I have picked out a design for an Iron Golem farm. And I've got to say, it's a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. However, of course, I'm going to need some building blocks for it. And I'm going to build it a deep slate to kill two birds with one stone. So I can go strip mining for some diamonds and then get the building blocks at the same time. Right, put some water down here. So right, I'm just going to go on go strip mine. Meet you back whenever I finish and you have enough blocks. Alrighty then, I've got myself a whole bunch of deep slates. I've got a bit of iron and gold as well. Unfortunately, no diamonds, which is a bit upsetting. Obviously, that's something I want. Anyway, right, so we have plenty of building blocks here. So I'm not going to want to build it out of the cobbled variant, because that one's just an ugly one. So let's get ourselves a whole bunch of the nice one. Probably some slabs, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, so those are my building blocks there. And I've got a few extra if I need them. Of course, I'm going to have some spares in here, aren't I? So I'll take out some of the spares. Okay, so that should be what I need for the farm. Just 
Let's rebuild it about here. Let's, let's tear this down and we'll build it here. All right, and let's go. We need to go in high into the sky so none of the iron golems spawn on the ground. So that's going to be where I build it. Tell you what, I meant to also grab some glass. So let's go and get some glass because that is definitely going to be make everything look a whole lot nicer. Right, so we are very low on glass, so I'm just going to go and grab some of that. Okay, I've got myself a whole bunch of glass. I've also gone out and collected some bones and some ink sacks because I would like to use grey glass because I think that will look the coolest. And then with Some building blocks. I'm going to build out on either side. I do not have enough. Fine, hold on. Let me get in here. Going to expand. Expand my platform of work here. Can I build that one up? Yes. Okay, good. So then I can have that down there. So these are going to be my little chambers where the zombie and villagers will sit. And this is just the very start of the farm to build up with my glass which perfectly blends in with the deep slate which is exactly what I wanted. A little bit more on the back. It might need more glass actually, but that's fine because I've got plenty. I've got some more cooking in the furnace, loads of grey dye. Okay, and now I need to get a beds in. Maybe some more scaffolding up here. And three beds need to go in for the villagers. Uh, fantastic. Where's the third bed? Am I going blind? Did I leave it in the box? I left it in the box. Okay, and that's three beds in. Then we just pop some light in to stop any more monsters from spawning. Don't want to be in here. Okay, so now I've got to go through the mission of getting one zombie and three villagers up here, which is going to be loads of fun and we will carry it on in the next episode. 
So thank you for watching. Check back in the next one for the Iron Farm. Thank you. Goodbye.